At the trial for Richard Sotka wrapped up in Green Bay today. Sotka, who did not take the stand in his own defense, has been convicted of killing two women. Fox 11's Andrew Merton spent the day in court and brings us the latest. It took a 12-person jury, roughly one hour of deliberations, to find 49-year-old Richard Sotka guilty in the murders of Rhonda Sigelski and Paula O'Connor on Monday. Both were killed at a duplex on Green Bay's east side in January of 2023. The jury found Sotka guilty on all eight counts he was facing. Two charges included first-degree intentional homicide, which each carry a mandatory life sentence. According to the criminal complaint, Sotka admitted to killing the women. He was arrested in Arkansas the day the two bodies were found. Mr. Sotka didn't have to be aggressively interrogated like some movie or something. He just kept talking. And sometimes these detectives actually just sat there in silence and let him keep talking. The trial started last week. Prosecutors and the defense team wrapped up closing arguments Monday afternoon. The defense team argued that Sotka's actions were that of reckless homicide. I'm sure Richard had a guilty conscience. There's no doubt about that. You saw it. You heard his own words in the video where he says, give me two life sentences. He said that. The evidence here probably does very strongly support a reckless homicide. Sentencing is scheduled for Monday, May 20th. At the Brown County Courthouse, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. One verdict form has been filled out for each of the eight counts properly. As to count one, as to the offense of first degree intentional homicide, domestic abuse assessments of Rhonda Sigelski, as charged in count one of the information, we, the jury, find the defendant, Richard Wendell Sotka, guilty. Did the defendant commit the crime of first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Yes. As to the offense of first degree intentional homicide of Paula O'Connor, as charged in count two of the information, we, the jury, <clears throat> find the defendant, Richard Wendell Sotka, guilty. Did the defendant commit the crime of first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Yes. As to the offense of bail jumping related to count one, as charged in count three of the information, we the jury find the defendant Richard Wendell Sotka guilty. As to the offense of bail jumping related to count two, as charged in count four of the information, we the jury find the defendant Richard Wendell Sotka guilty. As to the offense of criminal damage to property, as charged in count five of the information, we, the jury, find the defendant, Richard Wendell Sotka, guilty. As to the offense of bail jumping related to count five, as charged in count six of the information, we, the jury, find the defendant, Richard Wendell Sotka, guilty. As to the offense of bail jumping related to count five, as charged in count seven of the information, we, the jury, find the defendant, Richard Wendell Sotka, guilty. As to the offense of bail jumping related to count five, as charged in count eight of the information, we, the jury, find the defendant, Richard Wendell Sotka, guilty. And each of the eight forms are signed with today's date by the presiding juror. Then we will poll the jury, starting with the presiding juror. This is just a yes or no question. The question is, is this your verdict? Yes. 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 So that is 12 yeses. Now your service on this case is completed. Uh, you are free to talk about the case with whoever you want at this point. You do not have to talk to anybody, though. You can choose to remain silent. Uh, you don't have to answer questions. The only person, the only entity you have to respond to is the court if we, if we contact you. Uh, the jury room is a very solemn location, so if you do decide to talk about the case, just be mindful that there is a lot of candor between the jurors expressed in the jury room, so just be respectful of uh, uh, things that other people might have said in the jury room. But otherwise, anything before we release the jury from the state? No. From the defense? No, Your Honor then you are excused from any further obligation on the case. Please rise for the jury.